Ben Maxey. I'm the operations coordinator with Titan Recreation. And so I'm here to talk to you a little bit about bowling. So I've been bowling since I was five. It's something I'm passionate about. I teach bowling here for kinesiology. So I'm just gonna give you a few tips and tricks to use the next time you're out bowling, okay? So I get asked a lot of times about what ball weight do I use? And the correct answer is there's really no perfect answer. You just want something that's not too heavy, not too light. So what I put down here on the ball return, I put four bowling balls of typical weights that you're gonna find in your average bowling center. You have an eight pound ball, okay? Then you have a 10 pound ball. Then you have a 12. And you can also get a 16, okay? So you're gonna find one of those at any bowling center you go at. They're gonna be on your ball racks or you may even check them out from the front desk. Uh, depending on how bowling centers open uh, currently. So, the correct answer is you want something that's not too light. So for me, this eight pound ball, if I could do this with it, okay, obviously this is probably a little too light for me, right? <clears throat> Where on the flip side, a 16 pound ball, okay, that takes a little more effort to do. Now, as I mentioned, I've been bowling since I was five, so I'm used to throwing the heavier equipment. So my personal bowling balls are 15 pounds each. but you're gonna want something that's gonna be comfortable for you. So you want something that you're gonna be able to swing with not a lot of effort, but at the same time, you don't want it so light to where you can basically do that with a bowling ball. Okay, otherwise that's that's too light and that's gonna cause issues, okay? So once you've found that perfect bowling ball, what fingers do you put in the bowling ball? It's always a question that I, I, get, I get as well. So, every bowling ball is gonna come with three finger holes punched in, okay? Two for your fingers and then a thumb hole. So obviously the thumb hole is where your thumb goes, right? That's pretty basic. Now, these two finger holes up here are gonna be for your third and fourth fingers, okay? So they're gonna go just like this with your index and your pinky off to the side of the bowling ball, all right? I've seen people do this before, that's not right. I've seen people do this before, that's not right, okay? You wanna use your third and fourth fingers because that's gonna help keep the ball stable when you're getting ready to bowl, okay? Okay, so now that you have found the perfect bowling ball weight, all right, and I've given you a little bit of a tip on how to throw the bowling ball, now it's time to actually bowl, right? So, right here where I'm at, I'm at the what's called the approach, all right? This is what you use to go from the starting point to the lane when you're gonna bowl, okay? So, there are two million different ways of knowing how to bowl. But the key to being successful is whatever method you use, you wanna be consistent. So one way to be consistent is make sure you start in the same spot every time, all right? So what we have on these lanes here are five dots. Some bowling centers actually have seven dots, but this center here has five dots, all right? These dots are spaced out every five boards. And so it helps for aiming purposes. But what I always like to tell people is stand on the big dot, which is right in the middle, and you're gonna be right in the middle of the lane. All right, so as long as you start with your big, uh, start on the big dot, then you're guaranteed to be in the same spot every single time. So now I'm gonna show you what you can aim for. So we already figured out where to start on the lane. All right, you wanna be consistent, start on that big dot, which is right in the middle of the lane. But then what? Do you just throw the ball down at the 10 pins, which are 60 feet away? No, what's gonna be better is to aim for a spot that only maybe 15 feet on the lane. Every bowling lane has seven triangles here that are called arrows. They are used for aiming purposes, all right? So, as we mentioned back there, if you want to start on the big dot, which is right in the middle of the bowling lane, that's great. Then you should also aim for the center arrow, which is right in the middle of the lane as well. These arrows here are also five boards apart, just like the dots were. So it gives you a sense of where you're aiming at on the lane. So when you throw the ball, Make sure you are reaching out and aiming at a target. By aiming at something 15 feet will be a lot easier than aiming at something 60 feet away. So now you're ready to bowl. You know what you're aiming at. You know where you're standing at on the approach. Now it's time to start, okay? So you pick up the bowling ball, whatever bowling ball you've decided to use, and now you need to come up with a stance. Every athletic sport has a stance. Whether it's baseball, you have a stance when you get in the batter's box, you have a stance at golf when you're getting ready to swing the clubs. Bowling has a stance as well. So you grab your bowling ball, 
you want to hold it about waist high. All right? I see a lot of beginners when they start, they want to grab the bowling ball and just kind of hold it up here. You don't want to do that, okay? Just hold it about waist high, all right? It doesn't need to be anything major, just about waist high. You want to have a good little flex in your knees, all right? You don't want to be like standing up rigid and tall or anything like that. You want to just have a nice little flex in your knees, all right? You want to keep your elbow anchored to your side, all right? That's always a, a key because if you, if you have your elbow out, it's what we call chicken wing, and it could end up causing issues as you swing the bowling ball, all right? So keep that elbow anchored right to the side. And then another good point is when you have your hand in the bowling ball, you want to keep your hand under, under the bowling ball, all right? Feel free to use your non-throwing hand for support, all right? So you come set, you're holding the ball, you're bracing it with the non-throwing hand, and now you're ready to start bowling. One of the easiest ways to bowl, in my opinion, is what's called the one-step approach. So if you have no experience bowling and you just want to do something easy, then I would highly recommend doing the one-step approach. So you come, you get in your stance, just like we talked about back by the ball return. You just get in your stance, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna let the arm swing. You're gonna let it swing like a pendulum, all right? So you're gonna let the arm swing, and then the one step is involved as the ball is back here at the top of the swing. You're gonna take your one step and you're gonna throw. Remember to aim for the arrows that you have on the lanes, all right? So you find your spot, you let the ball swing, one step, and then you throw. Well, I hope you enjoyed these few tips that I can give you about bowling. But the most important tip that I haven't touched on yet is with everything in mind, number one thing, have fun. It's just bowling.